Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today I'm here to tell you all about the 2018 Shasta Revere 32DS. It's a nice big bunk model, double slide unit, plenty of space once we get inside, especially with the seven foot ceilings. But let's go ahead and talk a little bit about some of the outside features and then we'll head on in. Right up front here you see a propane tank cover. One of the things I like about the Revere is they expect you to be out camping for a decent amount of time. So they help prepare you by giving you dual 30 pound propane tanks in there. Right behind that you will see your rails for the battery box there. It is large enough you can have two batteries. And coming up the front here is your diamond plating to help protect your front end from any rocks or debris that get thrown up by your tow vehicle. You'll also see on the far side there you have a light in case you are hooking up or disconnecting at night. And then you also have the nice smooth aluminum front here rather than the normal ripples which really just give it a nice aesthetic. When you come around to the side of the camper, let's go ahead and look at the pass-through storage. You will see it is quite large. Uh, you have nice sized doors on both sides as well as access from underneath the bed. And you have an LED light on both sides. That's pretty cool too because most of the time manufacturers will give you a light on the camp side but not the off-door side. So I do like the fact they put it on both. You have a nice large awning on this camper as well. Just touch a button to have that roll out. Same thing to have it go right back in. And then sewn into the fabric itself is an LED light strip. The reason I like it like that is because it doesn't matter if you have the awning out six inches or fully extended, you can turn the lights on and still have it shine down on the campsite if you want that light at night. You'll also see you have two outside speakers here. So if you wanna sit out underneath the awning, listen to some music, you can easily do that. Now those are controlled by the multimedia center inside. However, they are, it is Bluetooth capable. So if you have a smartphone or a tablet, you can sit right out here in your chairs and be able to control that from out here. You have three steps to get into the Revere. The coach does sit up a little bit higher, so the third step is definitely required. And then you also have this easy grab handle here too. That way it'll assist you from the first step all the way in. So in case you have bad knees or it's wet, you wanna make sure you don't slip. This is definitely a nice addition. And this does just fold over uh, for easy travel. So you make your way down a little bit further, you will see right here you have dual electrical port. So if you need to plug anything in, this is a great place to do it. Uh, you know, if you want to set up a table or something here, plug in some crock pots, you can do that as well. Nitrogen filled tires on here as well as easy lube axles. So that definitely does help for some maintenance in the future. They're also widespread axles. That's pretty cool too, as it does help reduce sway. There's also two entrances on this coach. Uh, it's a little tight in here, so I did not open these steps up, but uh, you can see this is the second entrance. This will go directly into the bathroom. That, that's really nice too. If the kids need to use the bathroom or you do, maybe you have guests, they're not traipsing dirt and mud through your entire RV, you can come in, use the bathroom, come right back out. One of my favorite parts about the bunkhouse though is this right here and that is the big beautiful outside kitchen. You have the larger refrigerator in here as well as the sink and plenty of storage. If you come around to the back side, maybe you want to do a little bit of cooking too, that's not a problem. You do have the rear mounted grill here. Go ahead and swing that around, that will allow you to grill outside. And you will see right underneath there is your propane quick connect. That way you can hook that grill right up to that quick connect and use your 60 pounds of propane up front rather than having to buy the small little bottles. You'll also notice that right here you do have an outside shower with both hot and cold uh, access there. And then right up top in the center, you will notice that the Revere is prepped for a backup camera. Welcome to the inside of the 2018 Shasta Revere 32DS. This particular model is in the chocolate chip interior. One of my favorite things about the Revere line is the ceiling height. Take a look at how much room we have here. And remember, this is a travel trailer. So you have seven foot clearance right here, which is phenomenal. The nice tray ceiling as well. It gives it a really cool designer look. You can see you have your uh, window right up top here, big skylight with the shade, lets in a lot of natural light right into the kitchen, and LED lights there all the way around. If we take a look at the kitchen though, you see the countertops. These are seamless countertops, which are really nice. A nice upgrade from your standard T mold there. And that also allows you to undermount the sink. 
So you can see that right there, you have the nice farm style sink where it has almost like the zero radius corners right here. So the bottom is flat, allowing you to use the entire sink there for your dishes. And you have the high rise pull out faucet in order to make washing those dishes a little easier. And then because you have an undermount sink, that means that your sink top cover is of course flush mount. And this is also cutting board quality. So if you wanna flip it over, use the bottom as a cutting board, by all means you can do that. We take a look at the back wall here. You have a window again to let in that natural light during the day. LED light right above that for nighttime. Electrical outlet on both sides. Uh, that's pretty important. You know, you're in a kitchen, you're probably going to have things you're going to want to plug in. At least a coffee maker, maybe a toaster, and you have a couple places in which you can do that. If we take a look right up top here at some of the storage, I'll open this up for you. Notice they do go ahead and put a shelf, uh, they built that in. That's pretty nice because chances are, you know, again, this will maybe be some pantry space, maybe you'll put your spices up here, but I think that that shelf is uh, definitely uh, beneficial to have in there. Microwave right here, as well as your hood with a light and fan. Directly beneath that, as you'd expect, is your three burner at wood cooktop, the front one being high output. You can take a look at the oven here right underneath. So if you do want to do some baking, you have the capability to do that. Nice deep drawer underneath the oven. I like when manufacturers do this because, you know, I'm going to have pots and pans and things I'm going to bring with me. And this gives you a uh, spot in which you can put them. Right over here, uh, you know, of course, again, you have some extra storage. The thing I like about how they set this up, they do give you the shelf, uh, but they put that behind the P-trap, which obviously is intentional, very smart. Then the front right here is open, so if you do have a smaller trash can, you're still able to fit a trash can in there. Then right over to this side here, you can see you have three full extension ball bearing drawers there. Uh, now the top one, you can see the side walls aren't very high, but that's because you're competing with some other features here, mainly the sink. You know, if you see how far this goes back, they uh, cut that sidewall low so it doesn't hit the sink. But either way, I like the fact they gave you a full drawer because most manufacturers here, they wouldn't do that. They give you just a little tip open sponge, you know, sponge tray here. Instead, they do give you the drawer. So uh, props to Revere for doing that. Now, as we come right over here, you can check out your uh, freeze, freezer and fridge combo. Eight foot cubic refrigerator. So plenty of space in here. Eight cubic foot refrigerator. There we go. That's what it is. Uh, but plenty of space there. This does run off both propane and electric. And then you have some additional storage right up top. If you take a look across the way, this is your U-shaped dinette. Um, I really like this, well, in just about every floor plan, but especially when you have a bunk model, because chances are you're gonna wanna eat as a family, and this allows you to do that. Everyone can sit around here, they can have a meal together. Uh, you'll notice that the bottom here is leather, so if the kids, you know, if they're, well, leather-ish leather material, I should say, but if the kids, you know, spill ice cream or anything, this makes it a heck of a lot easier to clean up. You don't have to worry about ruining cloth. Also, if you have guests that want to stay the night, this does drop down into a nice large bed. You can just remove these two poles right here, and then the table itself will sit along these rails. You see it has Velcro right there. Drop the table down. You can use this back cushion, the ones on the side, in conjunction with this cushion right here, and then that will give you a nice large bed where two adults can comfortably sleep. On both sides, you'll see you have additional storage there right underneath uh, the, the dinette. This makes it nice and easy to access. So I'm having to lift the cushion off the seat to get to it. You can just drop these doors down here. Also, there's an electrical outlet right here. That's nice and conveniently placed. So if you do have to plug in like laptop, tablet, something like that, it gives you a place in which you can work. Of course, big windows all the way around here to let in a lot of natural light. And again, at night, you have plenty of auxiliary lighting, including the uh, wall sconce here. You can see you have LED lights right up here, too. Storage across the top, they have the fluted glass on there. If I open that up, you can kind of take a look, see that that is decent storage as well. I'm dropping stuff they sent. Go ahead and put that back, maybe. There we go. It's just talking about the flooring there, uh, how it is the uh, Congolium floor. That has, you know, it's better than your old linoleum. It doesn't cold crack nearly as easy. 
doesn't cut as easy, has a nice warranty on it, things like that. And right down here is the sofa. This is a jackknife sofa. It's nice and comfortable to sit on here. The thing I like about this jackknife sofa is the storage is a lot easier to get to. Rather than having to lift this up and trying to hold it, you actually have this drawer right here that pulls out. So that way, you know, any bedding, pillows, things like that, or whatever else you want to store under there, you can just pull out, grab, and then put right back away when you're done. Now, of course, that's a great spot to sit if you want to watch some TV, and you can have a big TV in this floor plan. Notice how they have this huge cutout. I like that they did that. A lot of times, manufacturers just put in this little space, and you have a 19-inch TV for this huge room. Not the case here. Also, right here, you can see some audio-video cables. Those are coming from your multimedia center because this is not only a radio and CD player, but it's also your DVD player. So if you want to watch a movie, pop it in, plug these guys into your TV, and you are all set. Of course, you have a shelf right up top there for whatever you want to store up there, or decor, you know, if you want to put some decorations up there, cool. You can see some good extra side storage here and an additional electrical outlet right down there. In between your main living area and your bunk room, you have this nice extra storage here. Take a look at that. You actually have hanging space for the bunk room. Far too often you don't have that. You have to fold all the clothes in the bunk house. So I do like the fact they gave you some hanging space. And right across the way here is the bathroom. So I briefly talked about this when we were outside. As I mentioned, here's the door to come right in. And your toilet is right there. Foot flush lever toilet. You can see you have a ton of leg room in here as well. Uh, right there is your sink top and vanity with some storage underneath. Nice mirrored medicine cabinet with storage behind it up top. And then right over here is your tub shower. Uh, you can see the big skylight up top, lets in some natural light, gives you headroom, you have a shelf here. And if you have younger kids, you can still give them a bath. To make our way back in the bunk room, one of the things I like that Revere does is they actually put a door on here. Most manufacturers just have like a curtain or a curtition. You can see here you actually have a nice slider door, uh, giving you a little more separation, especially on those rainy days. Right here you will see your slide out. This has your top bunk. You'll see the top bunk can hold 250 pounds. It is also on struts here. That way it is nice and easy to get up out of the way. You know, of course, drop it down at night lift it up here during the day, which gives you full access to your dinette. Uh, right now, of course, the table is down, but there are legs that pop up, just like the one we had out in the living room there. Uh, but I like having a dinette in a bunk room, personally. The reason is it gives you a spot where, the, you know, if the kids want to eat back here, they can. They can play games, they can color, they can draw. It just gives you more versatility. And then at night, again, same thing, drop it down into a bed. It's easy enough to make. It's just one, and it's back here. So if you don't want to pop it into a, bed, or into a table, leave it as a bed, shut the door. No one knows. Right over here, of course, is your third bunk. You'll see this one is nice and wide. Teddy bear bunk series as well, so it's nice and soft here too. That way the kids are gonna be comfortable when they're sleeping at night. Emergency exit right up top there. You have a window on both sides. Emergency exit on both sides as well there. And then another window right here on the back. You do have steps that are built in. It comes out so it makes it easier to climb up. But that way you don't have to have them stepping on stuff to climb up. Uh, just a little bit easier, again, to make it into that top bunk. You can see some storage right along there. Storage here underneath as well. And then, of course, right here in the center is where your TV would go. Your hookups are right here up top. So you make your way into the bedroom. Again, just like back in the bunk room, you have a nice door right here. Same thing, slider door, giving you that privacy you want at night. On both sides, you see you have windows for the cross breeze. Of course, walk around queen bed right here in the center. And as I showed you when we were outside, this does have access into that pass-through. Uh, strut supported here, so it's nice and easy to lift. Right, right outside here, just or underneath the bed, you have some hubcaps for outside. This box right here is the grill, as I mentioned, that would go on the mount there. You have good storage on the sides of the bed as well. You'll see up top, you have big mirrored uh, uh, wardrobes there with the hanging rod. You have storage all across the top. This is quite usable too. A lot of times in floor plans, you can't really use this. Here in the Revere, you can. Again, those ceiling heights give you that extra space. Then underneath the wardrobe, you have this nice nightstand, which I like. It's nice and big, so if you have a glass of water by your bed, or if you have a CPAP machine, you have electrical outlets on both sides, which can plug that in. Also, you have the dual USB port there. And then you will notice on both sides, you have a pull-out drawer. Uh, if you're one that likes to watch TV before bed, 
right up top here are those connections that way you can watch a show before you call it a night but okay folks that wraps it up uh, again this is a 2018 shasta revere 32 ds if you're interested in this rv and you'd like price and availability i recommend you give us a call here at american rv or you can take a look at our website which is americanrv.com thanks again for watching i'm ian baker and i can't wait to see you on the road to freedom